what are sweat guards? Is it all upside or are there some downsides as well? Uh, as a recovering holster addict, I'm going to fill you in on a whole bunch of things. So the first thing you need to know is that, generically speaking, a sweat guard comes up the back side of the holster between the gun and your body. And in theory, it protects the gun from your sweat, thus the misnomer sweat guard. The reality is it has to be cut away so that you can get a good grip on it while you draw. And thus, uh, sweat just kind of seeps in and it doesn't actually protect the gun from your sweat. What it does do is it protects your body from things like rear sights poking into you, uh, especially if you carry appendix, if you have sharp sights. And it can also protect the, uh, the blocking here will protect the controls on the gun from being activated or deactivated, more importantly. As you can see, the more, the larger the controls you have, the more important it is to protect that. And so this is a full height sweat guard. To have no sweat guard would simply mean that on the back side, it is in fact even with the front side. Not my favorite, I actually prefer a mid-height. The mid-height sweat guard, as you can see, gives me something that as I reholster, I can kind of tap on that and go down and holster safely. It's important, especially, uh, the further back you get, the harder it is to see. And people who carry strong side or even further back are actually more egregious offenders than the appendix carry crowd, although uh, debatably the risk is higher at appendix if you shoot yourself. It's very important to keep the gun, the actual muzzle, pointed away from you as you come in, and that's why I like that. If you have no sweat guard, what can happen is if you have a wedge underneath on the bottom of the holster, the holster ends up tipping out, and so it's actually kind of difficult to get in and the sweat guard kind of helps balance that. Uh, it's actually the, the keel principle, but in reverse. Kind of keeps it balanced where you can holster safely. And I will use a blue gun, because even though that was my, was my VP9, and even though I'd verified it was unloaded, I'm still not gonna point it at myself. So take your, what people often do, and appendix carriers uh, are, are pretty bad about this, and it kind of scares me. You know, they'll, they'll speed reholster. It's very difficult. If you're, if you're doing fast draws coming out really fast, it's natural to keep up that speed and go back in fast. And what people do is they end up pointing inwards at themselves as they go. Generally, you want to reholster slow. It's very difficult. Come out blazing fast. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Slow yourself down. Make sure it's pointed away from you. And that's one big reason I like that sweat guard what that what that mid-height sweat guard looks like for a gun with controls it's a little bit higher than the average mid-height if it, if it doesn't seem like it's fitting well to the gun that's because it's a blue gun and it's very out of spec so if you have no optic you can get a full height have it come up wrap around those rear sights uh, tall sharp rear sights can really poke you if you have an optic, I don't like a full height sweat guard because you have to cut away in order to clear this optic. You can't have it as, as much up this way. And so what you end up with when cutting away for the grip and then cutting away for the optic, you end up with basically a little spear that when the gun is out, it pokes you in your stomach, jabs you. So I like to cut that down, keep it as wide as I can so that it's more comfortable for the rare times that the gun is not in the holster. This is mostly for classes, of course, but when you come out, you see how you end up with something poking into your stomach for appendix. Generally not as bad carried strong side, but it depends on your body shape and a whole bunch of other things. So that's my reasoning. If you guys have different reasoning, let me know. I'd love to hear it. Uh, whatever you do, I just hope that you practice safely, uh, reholster safely, and teach others to do the same.